Hello everyone, it's David Sparks. I'm here with version 1.1 of CardHop. CardHop is an amazing application that makes taking control of your contacts easier than ever. This is the first big update to CardHop with a bunch of new features and I can't wait to share them with you. With a new version of CardHop, you can add smart groups. To do that, go to the file menu and click on new smart group and it opens this window. Now the smart group is a dynamic group created based on a set of criteria you set. So I want to make one based on holiday cards because for a lot of my contacts, if I'm going to send them a card at the end of the year, I just write the word holiday card in the notes field. It's kind of like a variable for me. So I'll go in and say note contains, and you can have other qualifiers, but contains is the right one in this case, the term holiday card. When I click OK on that, you'll see that there is a group of seven people that have the term holiday card in their notes field. So I've got my holiday card list. But smart groups can be more than that. You can add multiple qualifications. I'm going to go ahead and click on it again and add one more. And this time I'm going to say, and their country is USA. It's really hard to send international shipping, and usually I'll send an e-card to people outside the country. But right now it's set for a condition of any of these are satisfied. So the list is going to show anyone that has the word holiday card or anyone that has the word USA in their country. I want it to be all of those conditions. So if it has both holiday card and USA, then it qualifies for the group. And I'll go ahead and give it a name. I'll click OK. And now you can see it's gone from seven cards to five cards. These are the people that have the holiday card designation and are in the United States. Uh, but I want to have a little more fun with that. Um, let's say I want to see if it's people in the United States or the United Kingdom, that I've got a way to send post to see the United Kingdom. Uh, I can do that by making a nested condition. To do that, just hold down the option key, and you see how that plus sign turns to an ellipsis. Click on that, and then we can say any of the following. So it has to have both a note containing holiday card and any of the following and the following would be uh, country contains USA or country contains the United Kingdom. So now I've got a little more complex rule. If I click the word OK there, you'll see now I've got six cards on my list because one of these folks is in the uh, United Kingdom. They've been added to the list. These smart groups are a great way to slice and dice your contact data and make card hop work exactly the way you want it to. Printing with card hop is a whole lot easier. I'm gonna go select these five cards by clicking on the first one, then clicking on the last one with the shift key. And then I'm gonna go up to the file menu and say print the five selected contacts. And when I do that, I get this brand new print window from card hop. There's several different print options in card hop. This is the list view and scrolling through here, you can see if I want, I can add or remove fields from the list. Uh, I'll go ahead and put that one in, take that one out put the URL in, and when I'm done, I can go ahead and print it. I'll go ahead and print this one to PDF. And you'll see there's the printout from CardHop of the list view. It's got all the information I requested. Uh, if there is a picture identified with the person, it shows up in the printout as well. But there's other options for printing in CardHop. I'm gonna go ahead and select the same five again, say print the five selected cards, and this time I'm gonna switch over to envelope view. And this would give me the ability to print an alphabetized list of envelopes for just those people. Uh, going back to the idea of holiday cards, this is a great way to print those envelopes. And finally, if you'd prefer to print it out on labels, you can do that as well. They've got settings for the various Avery label uh, size and form, so you can pick the one that you have. Set it up just the way you want and click print and you're good to go. I'll save this one as a PDF too, so you can take a look at it. And that's how it would look coming out of your printer. If you had fed Avery labels, you'd have labels ready to go. That's not the only thing that improved with printing with CardHop. You've also got quick actions for printing now. So if I just wanna say print Lynette, uh, it's now got the ability to print her card if I want. I could just hit return and it would give me the print dialog box, or I could click on this little printer icon right here. And there you go, I've got the ability to print her card out as a label or an envelope or a list. 
Between the smart groups and the label printing, you've got your holiday cards licked with the new version of Cardhop. If you're like me, you like taking notes on your contacts in your contacts app, and Cardhop lets you do that right in the notes field. They've now added a timestamp button, so anytime you're on the phone or talking about something with someone, you can just hit the timestamp button and put your notes right in. Cardhop has always supported related names, but with the new version, typing into a related name field now suggests other names in your contacts, making it even easier. Cardhop supports additional languages. In addition to English, you also get French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Japanese. The language support for all these languages includes parsing and address and telephone formats. These are just a few of the improvements to Cardhop version 1.1. Put Cardhop in your menu bar. It gives you the ability to access and edit your contact cards on the fly and completely changes your game. To learn more, head over to flexibits.com.